Hi, and welcome to Refine Co. A question we get often is, what is the difference between presets and profiles? Do we use them together or separate? Is one better than the other? Today, I want to take a look at both and show you how to use them so you can decide if presets and or profiles are right for your editing workflow. Let's go ahead and get started with presets. Presets are listed on the left, the left hand panel. Um, you can see here we have Refine Times KT Mary open. This is a beautiful editorial image by KT Mary herself. So I thought I'd use her presets and profiles for this demonstration. When you click on a preset, you see the image changes. And if you look over on your right hand basic panel, tone curve panel, you can see all the adjustments have been made and they're visible to you. You know what we have done and not done toward, to the image. That way, if you need to visually make adjustments, you can see them. You'd be like, oh, the shadows are too dark on this. You can go to the shadows, see what we've done to it, increase and decrease from there. You will edit this just like normal gesture, white balance, temperature, tint, gesture exposure, and tweak as needed. Um, like I said, the main thing is you can just visibly see all the settings that were applied to the image. And then profiles. Profiles are located here on the right-hand panel. You'll see it says profile and you have these four little squares. When you click on it, you'll get your list of profiles and you can click on them here. With Refine Co. Uh, presets and profiles, we actually have, I'm going to go ahead and reset this for you so you can see. We have also built them so you, if you would like to work from the left hand panel, you can just editing workflow. Um, and we've also included a grain, built in grain on our profiles through the left-hand panel. If you use the profiles on the right-hand panel, the grain is not built in. So over here, we were able to apply the grain, which is something that KT Mary was passionate about for her collection specifically. And um, so if you click here, you can see the same thing, everything changes. But on the right-hand panel, you do not see any adjustments at all, but adjustments have been made to the image. Uh, so you can hand tweak from here, but the main difference between presets and profiles is that you get this basically like an opacity slider that will allow you to increase or decrease the strength of the profile. So I can go ahead and edit like normal. I'm going to go ahead and edit this how I normally would. I'm going to increase exposure. I'm going to adjust the uh, temperature just a little bit. And then from here, I can still tweak everything as needed, but I also have the flexibility of taking a little bit of the profile off. Maybe I didn't want it to be so strong. Maybe I need it to be a little stronger and still I can adjust from there. So it just gives you one extra editing step, um, which is to increase or decrease the strength of the actual profile. And again, let me go ahead and reset this. I'm going to go ahead and tweak my exposure a little. I can also access it through here. Let's say we want to do 3P. And I still have this, the flexibility of the increase or decrease of the profile. Close that. And then I can go back to my panel and adjust everything as needed from here. So basically, it's an editing workflow difference in my opinion. So I personally lean on presets. It's just what I've used for so many years. And I like to see the visual difference of what is happening on the right hand on basic panels in your development mode. Um, but there's a lot of people out there that love profiles and they love the flexibility of changing the overall strength of the profile on the image. And it just gives them one more editing you know, tweak that they can do as they want. So that is the difference between presets and profiles. Generally use them separate. You choose one or the other. It's just editing workflow difference for most people. Thanks for tuning in and I look forward to doing more videos for you soon.